You know what's funny? All right, well, maybe not funny in the ha-ha-ha kind of way or or what have you. Why did the chicken cross the road, you know? Well, I guess that isn't very funny. But what's something interesting about computing is that the idea of computing, of computers doing stuff and us using computers, it can be broken down into a cycle, a four-step cycle, that if you can wrap your head around it, in the most general way, you understand what computers are, how they work, how we interact with them, and okay, it's you're not going to learn the nitty-gritty of everything, or, or that much of anything, if you just learn this alone, but it's, if you just wrap your head around these four steps, you already have such a great idea about what computing's all about. It's this cycle. You teach it in class all the time. It's called the Information Processing Cycle, or the IPC. Uh, not the ICP, that's the Insane Clown Posse, and that's something much different. Uh, but it includes the input stage, the processing stage, the storage stage, and the output stage. And I'm a teacher, so when I teach this, uh, I'd like to call it iPods because everyone knows what an iPod is these days, and iPods is easy to remember. But that's not in the proper order, so that trips some people up, so I call it Ipso. That way, input, processing, storage, output, that's all accounted for. And those are the four steps of how computers do their thing, how they take data... Uh, convert it, turn it into information that can be readily used. It's this IPC, this information processing cycle, is how that occurs. Input, processing, storage, output. So how's it start? We, the user, give the computer input. We make the keystrokes on the keyboard, you know, when you type a letter, a number, a symbol. We click with the mouse. We give the computer input. Then next up is the P in Ipso, processing. The computer goes, okay, well, you gave me input. What am I supposed to do with that? And it processes it, it changes it, manipulates it, uh, alters it, whatever word you want to use. And it goes, okay, I need to make something real out of this. I need to make real information that you can understand out of this. And once it has that... It stores it, because guess what? If it didn't store it, this whole thing would be pointless. It needs to be displayed on a monitor. In order for it to be displayed on a monitor, at first they need to, the computer that is, needs to store the information somewhere for so that it can be displayed. I mean, it might not be in a form of memory that lasts forever, but just a way to get that information to you. And... Maybe you need to go back and see that information again. Maybe you're typing an essay on why we should save the turtles and you need to give that to your teacher and, uh, you know, you can't just have the computer erase it right away or take it out of memory. Uh, so maybe it's on your hard disk, maybe it's on a flash drive, who knows. But after that, then it can be outputted to, say, the screen to a printer, uh, the screen so you can see it, the printer so you can print it out and hand it into your teacher, um, all sorts of other devices for input and output. You know, a microphone. When you have a microphone set up, you're giving the computer, say, your voice, your guitar, your drums, whatever. Uh, when you have a webcam set up, you're showing to people your beautiful face. It's that idea of Ipso. The information processing cycle, made up of four stages, input, giving input to a computer, keystrokes on the keyboard, clicks of the mouse, processing, now the computer's thinking about what those keystrokes and mouse clicks mean, storage, it's putting it somewhere, and output, now you can see it, now you can get it back, now you can sense it. Think about it this way, your speakers on your computer, that's an output device. Now, you're giving the computer input, you're saying, play that MP3, you're saying, uh, play, um, Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Uh, you know, you're giving the computer input, you're telling it with mouse clicks, 
perhaps, or maybe you press the enter key on the song, you gave the input, the computer goes, okay, how do I load this song? What do I do? Hmm. And then, well, thankfully the, the song's already stored on your computer, but the act of you opening the song needs to be stored and it needs to be sent somewhere, so maybe Winamp opens up, for example, and the song is output through your speakers, and suddenly you can listen to all your favorite Lent Biscuit songs. Is that great? So remember, folks, how does data get converted? The cycle of us giving data, it coming back out, sometimes in the computer world, they call this garbage in, garbage out. Or Geico, I mean, not Geico, that's a lizard that sells you car insurance, or a gecko, rather, or a caveman, and so on. The information processing cycle, IPC, IPSO. Input processing, storage, output. Good stuff.